Well, hello everyone, and welcome to math class. And uh, this is what I'm doing while the servers are down, since I can't do polls videos, I can't do even a demonstration in game, which kind of sucks. So there may be a second part to this video. But as a total, uh, just on the opposite side, I just want to say I totally knew this was going to happen. I totally called extended maintenance, if not emergency maintenance, and look, it happened. I knew Alan was biting off too much, but anyway, okay. Alright, so before the servers actually went down, I was able to get one Super TMR done. And what this is, why this is actually important is I actually now know better how the Super TMR system works. And while everyone knows how TMRs work, who plays the game, uh, you may not be familiar with how Super TMR system works and it is a little bit more complicated so never fear I'm here to explain a few things so for this video we will actually be looking at preach now preach was the one I did in game so she's the one I chose for this video if you don't like preach then you can pretend it's someone else cool all right so let's talk about the actual TMRs first first of all is preach's hairpin which is her regular TMR hat it gives a 45 boost to attack, 10% to HP, and 10% to MP. For the longest time, it has been probably the best hat for attackers because it gives HP, MP, and a huge attack boost. So anyway, uh, that is her regular TMR. Now we all know how to get that. that you can either go on Chocobo Expeditions, you can either use them in battle for the endless number of battles you actually need to do, or you can actually fuse uh, trust moogles into them. So, now though is the brand new Super Trust Mastery. And these are incredibly powerful items and materia. So, for Preach, Preach has the God Hand, which is a fist item. It has 171 attack and a skill attached to it. A single target, 4 hit, 300% physical attack, ignoring uh, with a <clears throat> ignoring 50% of the target's defense. That's actually important. That means it's a 604 hit attack. That's pretty damn decent. But it also on a single target gives minus 50% resistance to fire, water, wind, and earth resistance for three turns, plus a guaranteed 100% chance to cause disease on the enemy for 60 MP that is a very strong physical attack coming off an item and you can equip that to almost anyone who can use a fist based item and if you've cleared Algerian's trial then you will not you will have his fist weapon and you will get the materia from that trial giving a big boost to anyone who uses fist based weapons Basically, this allows us to get a very strong fighter character, and Preach's TMR is great, first of all, and then her super TMR is fantastic, so lots of good support for her and fighters, or maybe in the future, Tifa? <coughs> I know, I probably shouldn't get that excited. <laughs> I really shouldn't get that excited. But anyway, how do you get super TMR? Well, first of all, you need two units. So right here we have our examples. We have two preaches. One will need to be a max six star unit uh, at level 100. The other one can be anywhere from level from a five star base unit to a maximum six star level 100 unit. Doesn't matter. Anywhere in there. By fusing these two in, you get your seven star and so this is the first step you need to make sure that you have the seven star but what happens if you have three units there's our third unit well if we take our third unit now remember here the important thing is is that you do not need to max level anyone other than the first preach that's all you have to max level so if we were to actually take in and fuse this third preach into our now one seven star preach as a matter of fact let's even just boom she's gone 
So we have our seven star preach up here. Now we actually go into actually, 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 gotta get that word out of my vocabulary. By fusing this five or six star, any level in between into your seven star unit, it will give you, first of all, a 50% regular trust Moogle that will be delivered to your inbox. So you actually have to go to your inbox and take it out of your inbox, okay? Now, important thing, when you are fusing to get a seven star, you get a Moogle where you can still get their regular TMR. But when you are fusing your third Preach into your seven star, you do not get that Moogle. So you are basically giving up the chance of getting a five star TMR to start working towards your seven star. Now this is really important because for someone like Preach, who gives an amazing hat for a lot of different attackers, you may want to get her regular TMR first. Maybe you don't, but it is worth noting that once you fuse, either your third or your fourth unit into your seven star, you never have, you lose the chance to get their TMR. Okay? And it doesn't matter what amount of trust mastery is on that third unit, it's gone. It's gone forever. Well, that's not entirely true. It does get fused into the seven star. So if you are still working towards your seven, your first preach, the one up top, if she has about, let's say, 30% on her regular TMR, and now this third preach has 30% on her TMR, that 30% will get fused into your seven star preach. So you're still working towards this one's TMR. If it's full, then you get nothing. So you get your 50% regular TMR Moogle delivered to your inbox and you get 50% progress towards your super TMR. Because each duplicate that you fuse into a seven star is worth 50% towards their super TMR, meaning that you only need two. And now comes in our fourth. But before we talk about fusing the fourth in, it is good to note if you do not need this unit's TMR for anything, it can be valuable to just fuse your third into your seven star to get that 50% trust moogle. You can get some other TMRs while you're waiting. It really depends on you, it depends what you need on your account, and it depends whether you think this unit has a valuable TMR. For instance, Renoa. If you have no plans of getting a seven star Renoa, if you have no need to get a seven star Renoa, or a second seven star Renoa, for instance, right now, I have a total of three squalls. Now, Squall is very much a unit that doesn't lend himself to having two seven stars. I can't see a reason why you'd want two seven star Squalls, unless you're a big Squall fanboy, in which case, all the power to you, or fangirl. Ladies, I try not to forget about you. But anyway, Squall right now is not a very valuable extra unit to have, so I would consider to form, to fuse, so to speak, uh, I would consider to fuse that third unit into my 7-star even though I cannot complete his STMR. And the reason that I want to or would do this is very, very simple. Uh, that extra 50% regular trust Moogle I would get from it is valuable. But again, it depends. For someone like Preach, I think her, S her regular TMR is super good and getting multiple of them is a good thing. On the other hand, someone like Squall, his Lionheart weapon is great, but there are better great swords out there, so it may not be the most the thing you need absolutely right now. So you can probably get rid of that other Squall. Even two of his great of his regular TMR is probably too much. Alright. Now we go on to our fourth preach. So we fused our third one in, now we are going to fuse our fourth. Now what do you get from fusing the fourth? Well, by from the next fuse unit, you only get 50% towards your super TMR. You only ever get from fusing a total of four units towards 
getting that goal of a super TMR, you only get the one 50% regular trust Moodle. This is very important. You do not get a 50% trust Moodle from the first one and the second one that you fuse into your seven star. So you preach three and four, only one of them, the first one that you fuse in will give you that 50% trust Moodle. And by fusing your fourth into your seven star, you will now get the super TMR. And the super TMR will just appear right in your inventory. So for instance, earlier I took Preach 1 and Preach 2. Preach 1 was at maximum level 100 6 star, and then I fused Preach 2 into her to make the 7 star. The se I got the 7 star unit and the Moogle so I can still get that other unit's regular TMR. Then I took my 7 star unit and fused the third preach in, giving me a 50% progress towards her super TMR. Any work on that unit's TMR went towards that seven star preach, who had not maxed her TMR yet. And I got the 50% trust move. Then I fused the fourth in to give me my super TMR. So very much fusing towards that seven stars original TMR. For instance, uh, Preach's. Both times that I was fusing the third and fourth Preach in, I was wor still working towards her regular TMR. And TMR is definitely the word of the day. So I hope this makes it a little bit more clear about what is and is not, and I'm jiggling the camera, uh, what is and what is not, or how these actually work, and makes it a little bit more clear. I'm trying to be as clear as possible. But here's another question. Let's take another scenario. The other scenario is, let's say I was impatient for TMRs, uh, super TMRs, and I didn't really care at the time. What would happen if I fused? two seven stars. Like I had a total of four preaches. You know what? Let's even multiply them. Look, with the magic of cinema, we have created preaches. So let's say we have a total of four preaches at the start. These four preaches at the start. And we fuse two together to make this one up top. Then we take in our other two preaches and fuse them to make this a seven star. So now we have two seven stars. Well, what happens if you fuse two seven stars together? Quite simply, this is what happens. By fusing two seven stars together, you end up getting 100% progress towards your super TMR, as well as a 50% trust Moogle for regular TMRs. Now, let's consider the pros and cons of this really quickly, of these two options. First of all, let's consider the benefits of doing it this way. First of all, if we have a total of four preaches here, by fusing this one, second one into the first one, we get only one of the duplicate Moogles, which is what we're going to call them. When you fuse into a seven star, you get a duplicate Moogle for that TMR. By fusing these next two, number three and number four, we lose two possible TMRs. Now this is important because, and I have to switch primes, if we were to do it this way, consider this. By fusing these two together, and fusing these two together, we get two of the duplicate Moogles for their TMRs. Basically, we have gotten an extra Moogle for a TMR out of this. And this is actually, I think, really, really important if the TMR is important. This is the difference between being able to get three Preach hats 
or two pre-hats in the long run. Let's say you have that if we go through this really quickly. By doing this method, right away you don't have any truss moogles. You are flat out losing one five-star base TMR. Where, if we go by this approach, you're actually only losing one five-star base TMR. Now this sounds really good on paper and it actually sounds really useful. You could potentially not have a problem with uh, losing anything if you already have one of these preaches TMR mastered. You could easily just make it so that you get rid though that the one that you fuse in with 100% is the last one you fuse in so you're not actually losing anything. But it does cost a total of 3 million gil and if you are like me and you have a fair number of units that you can make 7 stars or even if you only have a few, you run through gil really fast making 7 stars and trying to get them up to level 120. So this is a consideration. 5 star base TMRs are incredibly valuable, but the process to make an extra 7 star is a big investment. It is a big investment to throw that 3 million kill just essentially away. With that being said, kill is a resource you can get your hands on quite regularly. Whereas Lapis and 5 star bases are definitely a lot less common, especially ones that you may really, 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 really badly want. I can think of a few that, uh, a few TMRs. Preach is a good example of a TMR you probably want multiple of. Maybe not an army of them, maybe you don't need 10, but definitely losing two of her TMRs could be quite painful and losing four or even losing one of her TMR could be potentially bad in the long run. So think about this when you are actually get working towards your seven stars. Is it more valuable to fuse right away? Is it more valuable to wait? I think it make this process actually does make a big difference and it's something that not a lot of people have thought or commented on. But there is a way to actually save yourself from losing a 5 star base TMR when you're working towards your, when you're fusing towards your super TMR. For instance, I could have done this with Preach, but I was too excited and I just fused them in without thinking. And I probably and I lost a preach hat out of it. I could have done it, but it would have cost me gill, and I'm running really low, and there's gonna be more seven stars next month, and it might be CG Fina, and seven star CG Fina, and seven star CG Sakura sounds pretty damn awesome. Anyway, so that's this video. I hope you found it uh, informative, and I hope it will help you with your super TMR goals. Because Super TMRs are damn strong. As a matter of fact, we're probably going to be talking about the top five Super TMRs in the next video. See you later.